starting mileage 168213 and uh, zero this out. And it's 9.10 in the morning on Monday, March 6th. That's right. We're going on an adventure. Yay! Taking off like a herd of turtles. As always. <laughs> 9.11. That's a crazy We're number. Only an hour. It says 910 on here. Oh. On our way, a week of Arizona. Lake Head Shop. Oh. We're training. Took care of a couple of uh, government contractors. Salt Sea to the east. Oh. We're heading to the Box Canyon. Yep. I love this part. I've heard in her life that it isn't written about in any of the books. Like when she. I understand. The one time when she talks about training at that um, place above Julian or whatever. Yeah, Warner Springs. And 56 minutes, 351.5 miles, and a little bit less than six hours. Pretty good on all back roads. Triple odometer 348. That one says 351.5, and uh, but 348. Max speed 82, moving average 58.3, overall average 
we were stopped for 28 minutes and 15 seconds or so and moving time was 5 hours and 57 minutes to Wickenburg, Arizona. Very happy to be here. Okay. Pretty nice little uh, say cheese. We're going to one of the biggest contest stations, ham radio contest stations. Western United States. And, uh, we're close. For sale, five acres. There's the antennas. Oh, yeah, they're all. M N6 W I N win and this is his antennas or these are his antennas this is a world-class uh, contest station and they are known worldwide and uh, yeah this is this is the surroundings so that one is a uh, 20 yeah you're pointing at the antennas missing from the microburst that occurred here that'll go up later this year. This closest tower is uh, 10 meters. So I see two Yaggies hanging off it. Yeah. Um, what, which tower? Well the, the furthest one over yeah. it's got two three Yaggies and then it's got a beam. Right so you've got from the bottom it's 20, 20, 15, 20 and then a dual band 10, 15. Wow. Uh, and what's missing is two 15 meter antennas that we picked down in our in repair. Or that, that's those over there? No, that's just some random stuff. That came from that one? So the pile over there has the newly repaired <laughs> elements. And so this one, this first tower? Is 10 meters and 40 meters primarily. And, and then the big the antennas are full size 40 meter OWAs. Those elements are upwards of 73 feet wide. Wow. And okay, the, the furthest one back, what is that one for you? What I call my JA tower because it has all bands, 10 through 80 meters. Uh, it has multiple... For Japan? Or? Yeah. Uh, those antennas are fixed towards Japan. And then on the top, there's a rotating 20, 40, and 80 meter dipole. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is the son of N6EED. And... Uh, this Kathleen Tina, and Tina, and the co-owner. Tina's KJ6JET. All right. Yeah, um, my friend uh, is a retired airline pilot, and he's yeah. K7JET. Oh, I've, I've heard him. Yeah. Roger. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, we're in Wickenburg, Arizona, and uh, nobody has antennas like this. 
In between the tower, there's catenary ropes that have an 80 meter full size vertical. Oh, there's here, there's that the, the dipole, huh? Yeah, and uh, there's also a 160 meter full size vertical hanging close to us. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, my friend in Buckeye, Arizona, uh, HZH K6HZH, uh, Fred. He's got a maypole in his backyard and uh, uh, 20, 40, and 80 different legs and no tuner needed. And uh, he's all over the Western United States voice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I got a pretty good station, but not like this. <laughs> Except that's a Tioga, not a uh, Lazy, lazy Days. That's about the same vintage.